Hey guys, welcome to Rhino Feed. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Noctua NHD14. This is a dual tower air cooler. It's an impressive beast. I'm just going to open it up. The box is kind of boring, so you can see the epicness that it is. On the top you see the accessories. This is your AMD mounting set. Your Intel mounting set with SecuFirm 2, their own solution for mounting very, everything very firmly. So this is almost a three pound cooler. It's impressive. You have a nice simple screwdriver. Okay, you could use that for more than just installing this. And then this is your common parts. And I should have opened this up with a... Oh. Never mind. Well, I thought that was going to be a lot more difficult than it was. <clears throat> you have the same anti-vibration dampening mounts as you find with all their other fans that you that are included. You have... Ooh! This is actually a metal case badge. It's, this is not just like a cheap plastic case badge. I kind of want to open this up and show you guys. This I might actually... Ah, come on. I might actually add this to my case. That looks cool. I love their logo. Their owl is kind of sweet. Anyway, this is their MTH1 thermal compound. I'm actually going to be replacing this with IC Diamond's own 7 carat thermal compound. This actually performs about 6 Celsius lower than this one in people's tests. So that will help with performance and silence. Here's your Y fan splitter. And your two, I don't know why this one is blue, but your two ultra low noise adapters, which will drop both the fans down, their 14 centimeter fan and their 12 centimeter fan down to 900 RPMs. <clears throat> you also have your manual. This is kind of cool. It's tiny, but your Intel side and your AMD side. So I'm going to be using this nice. Oh, it actually it gets bigger. I see. Nice. That looks very easy. They have. Notations of red, what you should be paying attention to in each step. Very cool. Your required mounting parts. That looks like it's going to make it a little bit more easier than I thought. Alrighty. Another box. Very big. Will protect it better than any foam could, I'm guessing. This is heavy. Awkward. I think we're going to cut the video now. <laughs> eh. There we go. On the very bottom, you actually have a window for the copper block. I'm probably opening this upside down, but who cares, right? There we go. Boy, this thing is heavy. So, you have aluminum fins, quite a few of them. This is actually 161 millimeters tall, although it is compatible with the Asus P8Z77V Pro motherboard and my Corsair 550D. Fins look really cool. And you have six nickel-plated copper heat pipes on each tower, leading from this tower to this tower, creating a very nice U-shaped loop. Let's take this off. Ooh, very shiny copper, nickel plated copper base. Very, very cool. Hmm. You can see the top, the very top of all the heat pipes. And then your fans. This is the P12, non PWM version. You have the same vortex control notches to help with silence. And if I can get this cable out, oh, this is actually kind of long. Wow, they actually give you more than enough length of cable for your motherboard. Actually, this is too much because motherboard header is really like about over here, so you don't need a cable this long. But, and they're both three pin non PWM fans, 
unfortunately, which you can always upgrade, you can take these out. So, there you go. Thank you for watching my unboxing video of the Noctua NHD14. This actually performs on par, at least almost, with sort of, there's been a battle, but with the Corsair H100 liquid cooling system. But it's a lot quieter, especially if you don't upgrade the fans. A couple things I forgot to mention is that they have a 120mm fan on the very end here, and the reason they did that is so that you would not have RAM clearance issues. And the 14cm fan allows you to cool motherboard components on the other side because it reaches even further down. And lastly, I wanted to show you the obligatory headshot comparison. This cooler is gigantic. And it's just... It... yeah. It's... it's huge. So yeah, there you go.